Hey everybody, hope all is well, beautiful people. So let's, if you will, take a look at these two clips. And let's have a discussion. I want you to notice a common thing, okay? And thoughts, prayers after this later on the screen, she lost her son. So let's look at these two clips for part A, and then we'll have part B, the commentary. Check it out. Off the top of six, breaking news. Local 10 has learned that a teenager who was shot by his Uber driver has died. And that Uber driver has claimed self-defense. Local 10's investigator, Jeff Lineseer, has been following this case from the start and has the breaking details. Jeff. Miles McGlashan taken off life support, passing away at 3.30 this afternoon. <sighs> he has been in the intensive care unit at Memorial Regional for 71 days, a single bullet piercing his right lung, his kidney, and his liver. The Hollywood Police Department has been protecting the Uber driver's identity, but tonight we know who he is. Those who know him say based on his temper, they are not surprised that this happened. I just want my son to get better. That was April McGlashan just days ago as her only child mm. continued to fight for his life. 71 days after Miles was shot, this mother still has no specifics as to why it even happened. The only conversations I've had with the detective, he has been defensive about me asking the questions that any normal parent would ask. We should have some answers at this point. Hollywood police released this heavily redacted report, refused to identify the Uber driver who shot Miles, claiming the investigation is ongoing. Chris, Jeff Weins here, Local 10 News. Wanted to talk to you about shooting Miles. You're twice the size of him. Can you tell us what, what he did? 51-year-old Christopher Bernadell is the Uber driver who pulled the trigger, shooting 19-year-old Miles, his passenger, November 9th on Park Road across from T.Y. Park. What could he possibly have done to you to make you feel, feel that your life was in danger? Hollywood police said there was an argument over a drop-off location. Miles, a Barry University criminal justice major with no criminal record, was going to visit his grandparents. Miles had exited the car, apparently slammed the door. Bernadelle got out. An argument apparently ensued. <sighs> Bernadelle fired one shot. Police called Miles the aggressor after Bernadelle claimed he was attacked. But Bernadelle's own acquaintances called us, claiming he is a loose cannon with a temper. Don't you have a side of the story? Why did you shoot him? When you see his driving record, you may wonder why he was driving for Uber in the first place. Court records show citations for speeding, running stop signs, red light camera violations, careless driving. Records show he was involved in two crashes in 2016, cited by FHP in one of them. Progressive Insurance sued Bernadelle for causing another crash. He settled that case. I would never put my, car, my child in a car with an Uber driver that had that type of record. Nothing to say to his family? His ex-wife confirms domestic issues in New York where she filed a restraining order. Those records are sealed. According to an October 2022 police report, an ex-girlfriend said Bernadelle pushed her. She fell and hit her head. He was not arrested, but police did observe a bump on her forehead. Mm. Local 10 News has also learned, and Warner Brothers confirmed, Bernadelle was on an episode of Judge Mathis, an acquaintance says, for a road rage case back in 1999. Attorney David Cabillion doesn't know why Bernadelle hasn't been placed in handcuffs. We have a bullet that entered from the right flank, from the back, and exited his chest. So what does that tell you? It doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. And we are not getting answers from the City of Hollywood Police Department as to what happened. If you don't want to charge the guy, tell us why. Hollywood Police have said all along they were waiting to talk to Miles to get his side of the story as to what to happen that night. Obviously, that will not happen. Again, Miles passed at 3.30 this afternoon. We've reached out to the Hollywood Police Department for comment. We are waiting to hear back. In an email to Local 10 News, Uber says Bernadelle passed all of their background checks. In the newsroom, Jeff Weinstein. <laughs>
Okay, everybody. So that's the first report. Okay. That's the first report. Let's go ahead and get to a second report. I want you to notice a common theme here. This was four years ago. Four years ago in, I believe, Buckhead, possibly. And I'm showing you this for a reason. It says Uber each driver accused of killing customer turns himself in. Okay. What was this about? Channel 2 Action News was there when an Uber Eats driver turned himself in. He is charged with murder, accused of killing a customer. Channel 2's Tom Jones live in downtown Atlanta. Tom, the attorney, says his client was more concerned about his own life than an Uber policy prohibiting employees from having guns. Yeah, Justin, uh, Robert Bivens stood stone-faced right here as I talked to his attorney about the felony murder charge he faces his attorney did not allow him to answer any questions. So I asked his attorney, Jackie Patterson, did his client violate company policy by carrying a weapon in his car during a delivery? Well, you got two choices. Would you rather be dead or would you rather follow Uber's policy? Attorney Jackie Patterson says his client, Robert Bivens, made the right choice when he pulled out a gun and shot customer 30-year-old Ryan Thornton. If he followed Uber's policy, he probably wouldn't be standing here today. I was there as the Uber East delivery driver turned himself in to police. Officers had been looking for him since the Saturday night shooting. But Patterson says he wasn't on the run. He had to take some time to hire a lawyer. It all began around 1130 that night in the 2800 block of Far Court South. Police say Bivens delivered food to Thornton's condo. There was a confrontation. As Thornton was walking back to his condo, Bivens fired several shots from his car, hitting and killing Thornton. Patterson tells a different story. The deceased person has some issues with my client not being able to find his residence. Patterson says Thornton was irate over how long it took to get his food and kept escalating the issue. He says Thornton put his hands in his pocket, came towards his client, mm -mm. and threatened Bivens. And at that point, my client knew that he, he was possibly going to be seriously injured or killed. So he opened fire. I tried to ask Bivens about what happened. Mr. Bivens, anything you want to say? I, I told my client not to make any statements. And Bivens is in the Fulton County Jail, expected to make a first court appearance tomorrow. Uber says he was only on the job for less than a week. He passed the background check, and they say he didn't. He didn't transport any passengers okay everybody so you saw part a please stick around there's a commonality here for part b the commentary